Hello everybody, this is Funny Bunny of Doom, and I am going to be showing you a tutorial um, for, for the launch, not a tutorial, I'm sorry, just a let's play of the launch of my um, recent uh, build, I call it Needle Nose. Um, the actual craft itself sits up here, right about here, this is the craft, and then this is my all-purpose heavy, super heavy lifter. This thing, for all intents and purposes, is beyond, uh, beyond overkill. I do not need this to launch this rocket into space, uh, but instead of building a lighter, uh, lifter, I'm just gonna use this since I'm not in career mode, so money is not an issue. Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna have to do is EVA. Um, EVA my Kerbal, and I'm going to move him from the main, um, the main command module up to, um, the external command seat, because that was the whole reason I built this thing, um, was so that he could have an external seat on the small final stage rocket and have a nice, um, nice view of what's going on, a teeny little mobile rocket, and, uh, and this is going to be a test test run, so we are just going to stay in orbit this time, which should be fairly easy, and the next time we're going to go to the moon. So I'm going to turn on my SAS and my RCS, increase my throttle, throttle to full, check my stages, and we will lift off in 3, 2, 1, blast off. Okay? Now with this kind of power, I'm going to have to be very careful. I'm going to have to watch uh, the speed. I have gotten it going so fast. It's gone over a thousand meters per second before ever leaving the atmosphere. And what that does is I've never, I've only seen it once, but it caused my ship, even though it has great RCS and SAS control, it caused my ship to spin out of control. Okay, so now we are off to a good start. It uh, looks like our thrust is not too fast right now, so I'm going to leave it as is. When it starts to get far too fast, I will throttle down a little bit, but right now with all of this, these rockets and all this fuel on here, we should be good. So I'm going to leave it at full throttle, and hold on. When we get to about 10,000, I'll start the gravity turn. G force is about 1.2. Okay, releasing the two rockets that have been depleted of fuel. I have um, fuel lines going from those two rockets to these two rockets, so these are full when I release. And then from these two rockets, there's a fuel line running to the main, uh, the main sail in engine uh, rockets, and those, so this will be completely full. All right, now we've already reached over 10,000 meters, so I'm gonna start the gravity turn. And gravity turn is going to be west. Uh, so that we are turning with the turn of the Earth, and that will make it so we have to exert less energy and fuel to leave the atmosphere. Now, with the amount of fuel and the amount of thrust that I have, I probably, and I haven't tried this, but I probably could reach a full vertical, um, a full vertical atmospheric escape. Because we're already going five, 500 meters per second, so I'm going to start to scale down. We do not need uh, this kind of acceleration. So I'm going to scale down to save fuel, which again is unnecessary, but why not do it if we can? Okay, so we have a still a quick, a quick acceleration, so I'm going to go just over quarter. So see, we've got about one, two. About a three or four millisecond uh, meters per second increase per second, so that should be good for now. And we're gonna keep on this trajectory for a little bit. Let's check our map and see what's going on. So I'm gonna get this apoapsis up to about a hundred meters, a hundred, yeah, hundred thousand meters. Sorry, up to about a hundred thousand meters, and then I'm going to do a prograde burn which is where I burn at this prograde here, which is right there. And what that's going to do is that's going to circulize, once I reach the apoapsis, that's going to circulize the orbit. So I'm going to wait until this is 100,000, and then I'm going to circulize the orbit. So we've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of time before that, maybe about a minute or so, so before we uh, weaken time warp, so let's keep going.
seventy thousand meters should be sufficient to uh, make an orbit. I have seen people orbit at seventy and eighty thousand meters. Um, I don't know what the uh, the the con to that is, but uh, I think it is that you cannot time warp very fast. Um, so it's really best to go over a hundred thousand meters. Okay. This mark, sh this line should be the mark for 100,000. So I'm going to hit X to kill the engines as soon as it reaches 100,000. Okay, went just over 100,000, but that is good. Okay, 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 okay. We are almost out of fuel on these two rockets, but we have just a bit, so I'm going to use those for the next maneuver. So let's go back to the map and plan our next maneuver. If you do not have um, the required computers installed in your craft to make a maneuver, you can just burn prograde here. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom out so I can see this and increase my prograde. I'm going to pull this and this is just a guide all right until they start to switch so I have my apoapsis over there at 103 and my paroapsis is 100,000 so that is perfect so now I'm gonna hit the maneuver node here if you do not have this module here you're gonna have to manually aim um, but I have it so I will use it and there is a nice little trick when you um, when your ship reaches the correct place you want it to be, increase the time warp, and you will stick in that place so it doesn't go too far. Okay, and time warp. So see, it's staying here, and I'm going to time warp until about 10 seconds from the burn. Okay, and now I'm going to burn full thrust. All right, I lost those two rockets, so I'll drop them and continue our burn like this. Alright, so it is trying to stay on the mark, but it's having a little bit of trouble. I don't know what all that wobble was from. I've never really seen that. I mean, I've seen it in poorly built crafts, but this one was doing fine until then. Alright. Okay, so we got the moon and some debris from the needle nose. Those will be... I thought those were supposed to go away at two kilometers, but oh well. Okay. Got about ten more seconds of burn, and then we will be at a circularized, or circularized orbit. So four, three, two, one, and kill. Okay, check mark means you have reached the correct velocity. If it goes check and then back to X, it means you went too far. All right, so we are now in a circularized orbit. Uh, we have... that doesn't look right. Our paraapsis is at 68,000, so that's not correct. We're going to need to fix this. I don't know what happened to. Uh, it's probably that wobble. That wobble must have must have screwed us. Okay. All right. So yeah. Well, uh, we. Not much we could do about it, but ride it out. Hope we don't get pulled in by the Earth's gravity. But we should be all right because we need to. Yeah, as soon as I cross too close, it cut the time warp, but let's see what's going on here. Alright, so... The apoapsis is staying pretty much the same, but kind of decreasing, so it looks like it will drop slowly, but for the most part, we're doing alright. We're going to need to burn at the... Uh, the apoapsis to ingre increase the paroapsis, which is this. This is the lowest point in my orbit. This is very low. You should never orbit at this this um, this altitude. This is very low, not good. Um, so we'll have to wait till we get to the other side of the Earth and then burn again to increase it. Uh, that's really not important. You guys can figure that out for yourself, so I'm probably not going to videotape that. Um, I'm going to end the recording here. Uh, perhaps I will um, start another recording since we are so, so, so efficient on fuel right now. We have 
three quarters of a tank of this enormous tank right here. So that is more than enough to rocket us to the moon. So I'm probably going to end the recording here and we will send this guy to moon, land him, and then bring him back home safely. All right. What, how are we doing on energy? I'm going to check that out. Uh, we have plenty of electric charge, so yeah, no, no need to worry about that. Plenty of electric charge, so we don't need to deploy our panels. Alright, have fun, all.